Today's meeting follows a marathon 13 hour session yesterday when they heard from thousands of people, many asking them to shift money from the police department and move it into more social programs. Today, they not only had to answer that, but they also announced the creation of a new office of race and equality with some fairly lofty goals. So the motion as amended passes eight to one with council district three voting no. San Diego City Council voted eight to one to pass next fiscal year's budget. They did so despite calling it imperfect amidst nearly two weeks of unrest and thousands of comments to shift funding from policing to social services. The conversation does not end here. It starts here. They did, however, move three million dollars to create a new office of race and equity. Council member Monica Montgomery says it will work across city departments on policy changes and support community nonprofits. We are in a city right now where 28 percent of the homelessness population is black where we have a very, very low limited amount of contracts that are given to black businesses at this city. Some activists say they will hold the council accountable during the November election, but for more than half of the council, this was their last budget. Mark Kersey and Scott Sherman will term out, but three are seeking higher office. Georgette Gomez is running for Congress. Barbara Bree wants to be the city's next mayor. Chris Ward was the only no vote on the budget and is running for an assembly seat. This budget does a lot of important things and it starts us on good path, but I think it's a blueprint that should do more. The Office of Race and Equality will continue to grow over the next fiscal year as the council expands its duties. First, they have to get things off the ground.